Is there anything that you, both Troy and Allie, feel should also be taken into consideration? Now, you guys tend to, as community managers, build for games or for even companies themselves as a whole. I mean, it, we've already said, as you, I should say, as you've already said, Troy, there's a great similarity between being a community manager and a guild leader. Yeah. There, are, there are definitely things that correlate there. So what else would you guys add for suggestions, advice? Well, one of the things that I would add um, at, uh, to the dialogue is... I uh, can I, can yes. I throw a bone in here? I like bones. Nope. Go for it. Because I, I want to throw this at, at Allie and Troy, and I'm going to see how much this sticks. Um, it, uh, community management... Oh, I know. Community management... If I am looking, I like to do history a lot when we when we do these shows a little bit. I remember community management being in place for development companies, not for what they're doing now. They were the counter PR. They were the ones that when the forums blew up, it was your job to make people feel better. And what it seems like is we're seeing a transition that Troy, I, we, you know, I applaud you for some of the things that you've done. Sure. Um, have okay. gone to companies and said communities are not just the people who are bitching and moaning in forums mm -hmm. and they have they are a viable asset and instead of it just being the marketing team or the PR team who are sitting at the tables with the executives communities actually finding their way and this has just happened I want to say in the last couple of years where companies are saying you know community management isn't just somebody who we put in here who manages five people who watch the forums but they have a strong power would you say that, that that's true in your guys' experience just recently, that this is a shift that we're seeing? This, this came from, and I quote, unable to come up with a suitably funny name. They had requested to remain anonymous, but this is the name that they have chosen to represent themselves. They say, my guild is small, and you mentioned all... Yeah, you all mentioned reaching out to various game developers, going to conventions in a previous episode. Does size matter when reaching out? Also, we're That's going blind. That's going blind. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Fine. Hold on. There's a little more to this. Also, we're a bit nervous about contacting a game company. Do you have any suggestions? Who wants to uh, jump in on this one? Uh, I got, I'm I got gonna you. go get beer. Wait, yeah. well, he doesn't. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Sudo here. Thanks for watching a quick bite from episode 15, Foundations of the Campfire, where we had our special guests, Troy and Ali, both from Motiga. If you like this, please click like, share, and subscribe. And of course, leave comments below. We're always interested in discourse with our viewers. Toodlepip.